What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can create an abstract magazine text effect. So guys, hello and welcome back to the channel. As I said in this video, we're gonna be covering how to actually create a magazine-like sort of um, abstract text effect, which I have used on a lot of my most recent work. So if we go to the cover art page on my website, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can see in my most recent cover art, I used it. And if we go down to, here you go, um, I used it here as well. And it's actually really easy to create, a whole lot easier than you may think. And in this video, I will be showing you how to actually make it and give you the resources in order for you to make it as well um, and yeah hopefully the tutorial will be pretty easy for you to follow so we're gonna get started with the things you will need first of all and that is two PSD files I'm gonna leave it in a folder for you in the description down below for you to download but as you can see you will get two PSD files first of all you're gonna get the assets pack which in here is going to contain um, lots of different images that you will need in order to actually make it it will contain some patterns as well to make it look even better and then also uh, two examples which you can see here um, of the actual text effect so go ahead and download that you can open that up instantly once you have downloaded it and uh, you can leave the displacement map for now you don't have to open that up we are going to be using that later in order to get a certain effect on the text once we have finished so as I said make sure you go and download both of those and then you will be able to follow along with the tutorial and hopefully it's going to be pretty easy for you guys to do as I said it doesn't take too long and I'll try and go into it as much as detail as possible uh, because I know a lot of you guys are beginners out there so we're going to get started first of all with our document now I'm going to do it inside the uh, assets pack like document itself so it's a whole lot easier for me to like actually get resources from there but you can make your own cover art document is completely up to you uh, 1200 by 1200 if you do need the size um, or you can actually make this for like a Twitter header, a YouTube banner. As long as you use the same style, like a collage sort of style, it works really well with it. So um, it's, as I said, it's completely up to you. I'm going to do it in this document for the tutorial purposes. Um, I'm going to first of all, what I always do is make sure I've got my rulers on. Uh, if you don't already, press Control R on your keyboard and then you can drag some rulers into the center. And if they're not enabled, press Control H and you can ena enable and also disable them. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here the text that I'm going to do is going to say a visual which is my name of course so I'm gonna first of all grab the text tool and I'm just gonna write out visual this is gonna make it a whole lot easier for me to follow along with the letters if you're using a really long word like surfboard it gets kind of confusing I don't know I just prefer it when I have the actual word above so I'm gonna just put it there just so we can see what sort of letter shape we are going for of course and um, just to remind ourselves so I'm gonna go ahead rasterize that now what I'm gonna go ahead and do guys is I'm going to make a group uh, you can put the group below that uh, text layer it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna name it main text just so you guys can tell the difference between all of the layers and it's not very confusing for you regardless the first thing we are going to do once we have our like text at the top is we're going to start making the text we're going to get straight into it and you want to open up the magazine text group now inside here is going to be a variety of images some have the full alphabet some only have half of the alphabet it really does depend on um, the image as you can see the first one is actually missing like four letters which I really don't know why I cannot remember where I found this one and I can't remember where I found half of these but I just have them saved on my computer so if you can find the original image to this one go ahead and find it and let me me know because it would be really helpful so in order to start this off what I'm gonna do is look at my first letter my first letter is a V so what I need to do is I need to find a nice looking V now the first image I really like this V over here and the key is is to get like a variety of different fonts and a variety of different colors as well so it makes it look even more better so what we need to do here is we need to make sure the layer is selected go to the pen tool here on the left hand side just above the text tool and you want to basically cut this out so you just want to outline it with the pen tool using your mouse it's really simple you may need to do curved edges if you do need to do a curved edge click hold and drag and as you can see it will make it curved but for now we just need to do straight edges you can even make it a bit rough if you wish it doesn't matter if it's not perfect so once you have connected all of these points together you want to right click on that layer uh, or just right click on the V go to make selection 
you can press OK and now grab your rectangle marquee tool here on the left hand side and you want to right click and go to layer via cut. Now this will make that V its own layer or whatever letter you are creating and uh, you can hide the other one and you can double click on that layer and rename it to your new letter. So basically now we've got the V and now we're going to uh, copy and do this process for the next letter. So I'm going to find myself a nice looking I um, and I'm going to grab the pen tool and as you can see simply cut it out of the background. There is easier ways you can do it. You could probably use the magic wand tool on this one but I'm just way more comfortable using the pen tool. Easy as that. Right click, make selection, keep these normal settings, press OK, rectangle marquee tool, right click on it, go to layer via cut, hide the layer and you can rename your brand new layer. So I'm gonna rename it to the letter I and you can hide it once you are done. You literally just have to copy this process for all of the letters, of course. So I'm gonna speed up this process. I need to do the A and the L now, so it won't be too long and I'll be done. So guys, we are complete. I'm gonna zoom out my document using control minus so we can see it fully. And um, I'm gonna make sure my rulers are on so I can see where the center of the document is. And now what I'm gonna do is just enable all of these brand new layers that we've got, all of the letters, and we can go ahead and reorganize these so now with this process all you want to do is make sure that you are rotating layers you want to make sure you're changing the size of some of the layers and just make make it look like it's jumbled all over the place basically um i'm going to put this layer above for example here and i'm going to grab the s where's the s i'm going to put this around about here grab the u it doesn't take too long to be able to do this change the size of that one there after you've done this you want to make sure your layers are in one single group and you want to press ctrl j on your keyboard while that group is selected and then ctrl e and that will duplicate the group and then merge it into one single layer and now you can hide that because we will be using that later on so i'm going to reopen up the group now and um, this is an optional thing sometimes it looks good sometimes it doesn't but you can add drop shadow effects to the text so say for example i click on this eye here and i go to drop shadow and i've got like a opacity of like 60 69 72 um and the size is only on a run about eight and the distance is on four you can see if i zoom in it adds this like sort of black uh, shadow effect if you do like this you can go ahead and copy the layer style and put it onto all of the letters that you have made and there we go we can close down the group and now we're going to work on the backing of this and then we can work on the texture so you want to grab your single layer that we uh, literally just made and put it behind the group and now what you want to do is go to filter press distort go to displace and you want to copy down these settings so you want to make sure the horizontal scale is on three the vertical scale is on five press ok and you want to go ahead and find that psd file called displacement map once you have press open and if i close down the group here you can see it will create this weird sort of wave glitchy effect increase the size only a little bit uh, just so we can see it a bit more and now what you want to do is go to filter select noise and then press add noise and you want to add a noise amount of around about i'm going to say around about 70 percent press enter or ok once you have done that and now if i zoom out you can see it creates this nice sort of cutout kind of effect on the text i really like the way it looks um it's of course optional whether you want to add it or not but i think it looks good as i said before so now what is left is going to be the textures so you can get your textures textures from anywhere you can find them online or in your graphics packs but if you do want the best textures I recommend you check out my um, duo graphics pack with a designer called Mixo and there's so many good textures in there if you haven't got it already I'll leave a link to it in the description down below but of course it is completely optional so I'm going to grab the first texture here in the paper texture folder of the graphics pack and I'm going to drag and drop it and I'm going to right click on the layer once it is in the document and go to create clipping mask so it's only attached to the letters and now you can change the blending mode of this layer I'm going to change it to lighten and as you can see it will create this really nice ripped effect on the text I think it looks really nice now what we're going to add is going to be the pattern now this is inside the assets pack so just go ahead and uh, find it put it above your text right click clipping mask and it will create this weird sort of like um, line pattern the opacity is going to be way too high so just decrease that to around about I'm going to say 23% and I think this looks really nice now this text 
Now this text is basically done. Some final effects I'm going to do is actually grab the bottom layer here where we have this weird sort of glitch effect behind the text. I'm going to press Ctrl J on my keyboard to duplicate it and I'm going to put that behind the other one. And now I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to blur, Gaussian blur, 100 and like 61 and press OK. And as you can see, it will create this nice sort of lighting behind the text. You can even put it above if you wish. Uh, just mess around with it. You can also decrease the opacity. So I'm going to decrease mine to like 52% and it will just add this nice sort of lighting. Just stands out from the black background that I'm using, I guess. And now the final effects, the very final effects anyway, I'm going to add is going to be the noise effects. So press Control J on our like entire design, press Control E and then Control J one last time. And I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise. And the noise amount I like to use is around about 7%. Press enter once you are done. And this looks really, really nice. A couple more things you can do if you wish. You can grab your rectangle marquee tool. Make sure those are merged. And you can add random like rectangles. If you hold down shift, it will let you add loads. And uh, you can just add random ones. You can right click this, go to layer via cut. Then you can head over to filter, blur, motion blur. And you can add some like nice motion blur effects and you can even add noise on top of those if you wish. Those are just some ideas of like final effects that you can add as you can see. And that's basically it. The text effect looks really nice. If you do go ahead and make any designs using this tutorial, then tweet them at me at Visual J Daniels and I'll be sure to go ahead and comment on those. If you did go on to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Also, if you did enjoy the video, then please consider subscribing to the channel with notifications on and you will be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And yes, guys, that is it for the video. As I said, this has been Visual or James, and this has been my fourth time recording this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace out.